Hello everyone. Welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will discuss a very widely used term in statistics that is correlation and we will see what is the significance of correlation and where it is used. So, let's discuss the agenda for today's session. We will start this tutorial by understanding what is correlation. Then, we will move on to discuss the two types of correlation and correlation coefficient. After that, we will see the limitations of correlation and some real life applications of correlation. So, let's get started. What is correlation? Correlation refers to a statistical relationship between the two entities. It measures the extent to which the two variables are linearly related. For example, the price and demand of a product is in correlation, they are linearly related. The value of correlation always lies between minus 1 to plus 1. There are mainly two types of correlation. The first one is positive correlation. A positive correlation means that the linear relationship is positive and the two variables increases or decreases in the same direction. The number of trees cut down and the probability of erosion are in correlation. When one increases, other also increases and vice versa. Negative correlation. A negative correlation is just the opposite. The relationship line has a negative slope and the variables change in opposite directions. For example, if you decrease the speed of the car, the time taken to reach the destination increases. This is a negative correlation. Correlation coefficient. The correlation coefficient, which is denoted by R, gives us a measure of the strength of the linear relationship between the two variables. The value is denoted by the letter R and it ranges from minus 1 to plus 1. If it is less than 0, it implies that there is a negative correlation. The minus 1 indicates there is a strong negative correlation between the variables. If r is greater than 0, it implies there is a positive correlation and plus 1 is the strongest point of a positive correlation. When r is equal to 0, we can say that there is no correlation between the variables. There are also some limitations of correlation. The first one is, correlation does not give you every insight on the data. Mean and standard deviation are still the important parameters to get the insight of a data. The second one is, the data will not produce a straight line every time and it will be difficult to predict the value of R just with the straight line or the slope of the graph. Now let's see some real life applications of correlation. If you take any e-commerce company whose website is accessed by millions of users all over the world, the company can look at all the data and they can measure how much time was spent by the customer and the respective money spent by the customer. We can also predict the unique users that visited the website and how it affected the sales in a day. The third application can be the patient blood pressure and the medication used. The level of patient blood pressure and the effect of medication on it can be in a correlation. Now let's jump onto Excel workbook to see how you can calculate the correlation coefficient. So here we are on the Excel workbook. If you see, we have the temperature in degrees Celsius such as 20, 25, 30, 40, 50 and 60 and the corresponding sales of ice cream in the units. To calculate the correlation, we will use the correl function. Now we have an array 1 and array 2. So we will select the array 1 that is temperature in degrees Celsius and the array 2 will be our sales of ice cream. So you can see there is a very strong correlation between the temperature of a day and the sales of ice cream unit. If the temperature increases, the sales of ice cream unit increases and if the temperature decreases, the sales of ice cream unit decreases. So, with this we come to an end of this tutorial. Thank you all for watching this session. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section of this video. Thank you again and happy learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.